Hi, this video is going to help you with learning how to practice your math and science on Siavula. So I'm going to begin opening my Siavula page from my browser. You will notice that right now I have already logged in. So to practice, I will click on menu, practice, select the subjects that you'd like to practice. Select the grade you'd like to practice on. And then you will now be on my dashboard. Here we record the number of exercises that you would have done on a daily, monthly and yearly basis. Outcomes are the points that you collect as you getting answers right on the system. There are also bonus points for completing a subtopic or completing a chapter. On my goals, here you can record the marks that you are aiming to get for each term and then track your progress. So here I've got the table of contents for grade 8. But before I go there, you will notice that here you can click choose different grade to move on any other grade that you'd like to practice on. But I will just stick on my grade eight for now. So here are all the chapters that I can possibly do on grade eight maths. I am just going to work on exponents. So I will select a subtopic called working with ex numbers in exponential form and then I will click on start practicing. So now the system takes me to a page that has a question and a space to put in my answer. So this part is a multiple choice question. I will look at the question and then try to look for the answer and then I will click final check and then it says that's correct. Maybe I might be interested in knowing how did we actually get to that answer so I will click show full solution. Here I will get a full explanation or a step-by-step -step process on how to get to my answer. So this question had two parts. So the second part, I will, uh, there is a space for me to put in my answer. So now, let us say I want to put in an answer that has a symbol that is not readily available on my keyboard. For instance, I want my answer to have an exponent. So I will just type in, I uh, will click on the button that says, help, how should I type my answer? And then I will have this explanation here. So when I go to this box, I will then start typing in, let's say my answer is two to the power of four. I'll put in two and my symbols button is there. And I will click on a symbol that looks like a down facing V or cap and then put in the four and then here you will notice I get a preview which shows me how my answer actually looks like and then I click on check answer to submit so now it says are you sure take another look at your answer I can go there and then change the answer if I like to but for now I'm just going to say final check so it says oops that's incorrect and then it gives me a step-by-step -step process on how to get to my answer so you will notice that with every question you work on Siavula you will be marked to know whether you are right or wrong and then you will also get a step-by-step -step process to get to your answer. Say I would like to practice a similar type of question, I will click on try exercise again. So this way I will get 
a different question. You will notice here on my second part that I've got a different question. But it's actually asking the same concept as the previous question. And then I can also go there to put in my answer. Okay, check answer. Then it says I'm correct. So if I wish to go to the next exercise, which looks completely different from this, I will then click go to next exercise. Here at the bottom, you will notice these stars. Before I begin practicing, my stars are gray and white. But as I start working on the system and getting answers right, my stars start to light up, becoming yellow with blue lines. So we call this mastery. How it works is the system starts you from simple questions and you work your way up to more difficult questions and thus gaining mastery. So if I am working on the system, and I'm having all four stars there, that will mean I would have worked on the most difficult question there is on this particular subtopic. So you will practice until you master the topic that you are going to start working on. So now let's say I do not want to necessarily start with getting questions, but I want to start reading some content, getting some examples on Siavula. There is a way to do that. All you have to do is click on menu, textbooks, and then select the subjects you want to learn on. So I'm going to select science, grade 10. So here I find all the table of contents that is available on grade 10 science. So I'm just going to select a subtopic on mixtures. And then I will start reading through. So here I will find definitions, explanations, and some more pictures that are describing what I'm learning on, as well as some of the questions or videos that will be explaining what is what I'm working on. After I've read through all of this, I might then be wanting to go and practice something on this chapter. So I will click on the back button, which takes me to the table of contents. And then I can then click on practice this chapter so that I can start practicing on any of the topics I've just worked on. So that is another way that you can use Siavula. A third way would be if your teacher decides to send you an assignment on Siavula. So that way your teacher would have selected the questions that he or she wants you to start working on and he sends them through as an assignment to you. So you can find your assignment on a message box or envelope that appears at the top of your screen. And then you will find the list of all the assignments that you have received on Siavula. So I'm just going to click on this one. Here I find the topic that is being asked on this assignment. And then I'm going to click practice now. You will notice that on this assignment, I've got only one questions which come from Euclidean geometry and it is adapted from the past DBE question paper. So this should be interesting. So I will read through the question, look at my diagram and also look at some instructions where I'm given instructions and then I start to type in my answer.
here as well every time you are typing in something you get a preview of what that is so here my answer i'm thinking it's the square root of two and then i'm just gonna submit my answer Also, on the assignment, I get to know immediately whether I'm right or wrong, and I also get a step-by-step -step explanation on how to get to my answer. So this question had three parts there, but you would realize for each and every part that I do, as I get answers wrong, I will get a step-by-step -step process on how to get to my correct answer. So here is another step-by-step -step process. At the end, the, when I'm done with the assignment, it says, great effort, try exercise again or try the assignment again. So clicking on try exercise again will open a similar type of question but it will be asked in a different way which allows me to practice the similar type of question but in many possible ways that it could be asked in an exam so you will notice now that my question has changed so this is how you practice on siavula I hope you enjoy practicing on Siavula and just know that for you to be good in maths, you just always need to practice. So for now, I will say happy practicing. Bye.